Let's talk about the Satanic Temple hosting their unbaptism pride event in Arizona. This is honestly, when I saw this, I'm like, this is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Unbaptism, as if you can get unbaptized. Like somehow you're unsaved if you get unbaptized. We're gonna watch this, how they unbaptize people. And we're also gonna look at some reaction to some of the interview interviews with the people that are there. I've already exposed the Satanic Temple. I have a video on exposing Satanism where I show how ridiculous their logic is. They basically say, Satan's not real, yet all their stuff is dark, demonic, pentagrams, goats and all these weird symbolisms they're they're a joke honestly it's a complete joke the whole thing that they're trying to propagate they're all about shock factor they want to get christians mad but this is just honestly insane this is ridiculous this is where we're at in america let's watch this react to this i'll give you my thoughts all right we're gonna watch the unbaptism from the satanic temple listen if you get unbaptized you already weren't saved so there's like no reason it's the stupidest thing to get unbaptized no, you can't even get unbaptized. Once you're baptized, you're baptized. But again, it doesn't guarantee your salvation. So this is just, just warning. This is so stupid. But let, let's watch this and I'll react to it. So they're going to do an upside down cross. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. And say, hail Satan. Remember, these are people that don't believe in Satan. Even though all their imagery is demonic, they wear dark clothing and everything. And dark everything. They say Satan's not real. So they're like, they're just so weird. I don't understand it. And I'm not trying to be rude here, but they pride themselves in intellectualism. I just want you to look at the people at this festival and tell me if these are like the most intellectual looking people you could see, you could think of. So apparently these people are getting unbaptized. Again, very educated. They pride themselves in education. And as you can see, they just all look very, very educated. Bill is trying to call me. Can you hear my beard? Hail Satan. That's still going on TikTok later. Oh yeah. I'm guessing that's what y'all are on too, right? Just so yeah. demonic and just bizarre. Huh? Yeah. I don't know, a thousand? Yeah. I don't get on there much. intellectual, super, super smart. Way smarter than the Christians. <laughs> Jeff, wait, his Facebook is Scott White, so you'll find him on my... Hail Satan! Hail, Hail Satan. Satan! Do you reject your baptism? Yes. yes! Do you reject your baptism? Like, did you get baptized as a baby in the Catholic Church, or... Because, again, no no one that's getting unbaptized here was ever a real Christian, I'm telling you, you right now. Do you reject any claims to your own, to your own self and autonomy? Yes. yes! Do you now vow to live your life based on rational thought? Rather than ancient dogma. Yes! Your path is your own. Break the chains that bind you. For you are no longer a servant to the imaginary narcissistic tyrants. Embody the nature... By the way, they don't believe in God, but they hate him. They don't believe in the devil, but they hate God. So they, they're just complete hypocrites. They're like, we hate God, we hate Christians, but he's not real. Neither are Christians or Christianity, but we're going to spend our life disproving something that's not real. Mm. ...and character Weird. of Satan, with empathy, compassion, knowledge, and rationalism. Non Serbium, Ave Satana, Hail Satan! Hail, Hail Satan! Satan! It is done! Woo! Woo! Yay, we got unbaptized, now more demons could enter into us. I wonder if you get a certificate, your unbaptism certificate. Alright, so let's watch some interviews here from the festival. And, and just hear what these super educated people have to say that are at the Satanic Temple. Um, let's see that, you know, we're going to probably get a lot of good knowledge because they're very rational and they don't believe in Satan. But, you know, I, I can't even make this stuff up here. To your, own, to your own self and autonomy. Yes! Do you now vow to live your life based on rational thought rather than ancient dogma? Yes! Your path is your own. Break the chains that bind you. Servant to the imaginary narcissistic tyrant. Embody the nature and character of Satan with Did empathy and compassion. So watch this. Let's just skip a little. See, bit. I got my unbaptism certificate. Oh, here. so you do get a certificate. You do get a certificate. You get an unbaptism certificate. From the temple of Satan. You can get unbaptized from the temple of Satan for just ten dollars. So we saw that already. Okay, so let's look at these. These, let's look at these educated people here 
and you know they're very rational it's all about rationale it's all about pride and disobedience to god christians are just loony christians are like you know these people that believe in like this weird god on the cloud this they call it like a sky daddy and th these are christians right they say this about us we're delusional so like they're very rational very smart as you can see by these people here very educated putting masks on and upside down crosses on their head and so let's listen to them they're very rational let's see let's see here so what brings you out here today uh okay we're crazy we're the ones that are you know a little loopy but you know they're normal they're the normal ones let's, let's listen to the normal ones what do they have to say well i was in the fey wild and i found a fairy circle and it led me here and now there's a lot of people here that are casting spells and doing weird stuff i was in the fey wild and i followed a fairy circle and led me here so yeah this is here you go satanic temple because i know you'll probably tweet this watch this because you guys tweet our stuff here you go. This is the face of the Satanic Temple here. What, your very circle you said brought you here? Can you, look, can you explain that a little bit to me? Well, you step inside and if you touch the right fairy circle parts, then you come to a different dimension. And this is honestly sad because these people are demonized. They need deliverance because demons make you try to look like them. So obviously this guy has some serious demons he's fighting. So I do, I am sad for them. I do pray for them. I know I'm making fun here, but this is just, they constantly torment, and, or I shouldn't say torment, they constantly ridicule and throw drama towards the christians and make fun of christians yet this is what's going on here really so what brings you out here today to celebrate what are you guys celebrating little kid in the back of course all the little kids got to indoctrinate the kids that's all about grooming the kids i want to, I want to bother christians you want to what i want to bother christians so she wants to bother christians that's why she's there you want to bother christians any individual reason why yes why yes she looks like she's straight manifesting let's be honest Yes? Because they pressure their beliefs on us. Jesus is more than anything you can do. Why don't you Jesus leave? is more Satan. than anything. Why don't you leave? Satan! 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 If God isn't real and Satan isn't real, then why are they so mad about this guy preaching? Hmm. Maybe the demons are mad. I myself am wicked. You're wicked? I, yes. And I do believe that what I do is real. I've never seen their God. And in fact, their God didn't protect me when I was being abused. So why would I believe in someone that wouldn't protect me? So that's what it was. She wasn't protected being abused. So the fact that God didn't rescue her from evil, she doesn't believe in him anymore. <laughs> this guy should be So... There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's the satanic temple and all of their craziness. Now, can you get unbaptized? No. That's the stupidest thing. Baptism is the act of being, if you don't know, immersed in water. It symbolizes ending your old life and beginning your new life. And it is an incredibly powerful thing that we are commanded as Christians to do. So baptism is relevant. Baptism is important as they want to mock it. When you get baptized, you're publicly declaring you are a new creature. You go down in that watery grave and you come up in the newness of life. This is the essence of baptism. So the Christian baptism is the first mention of Christian baptism in this John the, is in the account of John the Baptist. John the Baptist was baptizing for the remission and forgiveness of sins. He said, I indeed baptize you with water under repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier. He will baptize you with the, baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. That's Matthew 3, 11. So here comes the new covenant and with the new covenant because of the death of jesus on the cross baptism's now more than just the forgiveness of sin but it's a covenant to live the life a disciple before god this is choosing i'm gonna make a public statement that i'm now living my life for jesus the old man is dead peter compares the baptism to the flood in noah's time this is what he says he went and preached to the spirits in prison who formerly were disobedient when once the divine long suffering waited in the days of noah while the ark was being prepared in which a few that is eight souls were saved through water there was also an anti-type which now saves us baptism not the removal of the filth of the flesh but the answer of the good conscience toward god through the resurrection of jesus christ that's first peter 3 18 through 21. so peter says this is like the days of noah that old man's drowning death to the old man and you're resurrected in christ the bible says of noah's time then the lord saw the wickedness of man was great and that every intent of their thoughts was evil continually genesis chapter 6 verse 5. so just as the waters of the flood put an evil an end to the evil in the old testament 
Baptism represents an end to the evil, self-centered way of doing life and a beginning of the new life, the New Testament Christianity. So you may be like, well, should I get baptized? Yes, if you've made a commitment, you've repented of your sins and you've turned to Jesus, then yes, you should be baptized. This was in Acts 2, 38, when Peter preached. And they said, what must we do to be saved? And Peter exhorts them to be baptized. Paul explains this in Romans 6, 3 through 4. Or do you not know that as many of us were baptized into the Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death? Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism and death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness of life. So baptism is a powerful thing. Now, it's not required to salvation. It doesn't get you saved. And we know this because in Acts chapter 10, when Peter went to Cornelius' house, they were filled with the Holy Spirit before they were baptized. So again, you don't have to be baptized. That's not how you get saved. Your salvation comes from putting your faith in Jesus, but we should be baptized as believers. So if you're not baptized and you're watching this video, highly recommend you to be baptized. The satanic temple is a complete joke in my opinion, completely demonic. They're hypocrites as can be, saying Satan's not real, yet they scream hail Satan. Weird. If you enjoyed this video, maybe you learned something about baptism, comment down below. We're live every single Monday, Tuesday, and Friday night. Do us a favor, like the video. Monthly partner, you can become a YouTube member. It helps tremendously. We'll see you guys in the next video.